All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining today. This is TAM Lab 113, uh, enabling MFA in vSphere 7. And so my name is Bill. Uh, I'm a staff TAM here at VMware, and uh, I'm going to be leading you through the session today. So big disclaimer here. Uh, the solutions that we're addressing during the session, um, they're seen across a number of our customers, and they're easily accessible for these kinds of purposes. This is not an endorsement by VMware for any particular brand or product in the marketplace. Um, you can do other, use other solutions out there to do the same kind of things. So I just wanna be very clear, we're not saying that any solution in here is the go-to. Okay, so Ping, uh, again, we're talking about complexity. There's a lot of components that Ping can support that all play together in some fashion. In this instance, I'm relying mostly on Ping ID. So I'm going to go ahead and, and run this. All right, so next, so we'll go to client integration. Um, so if we download this file, it's going to hang out there and has a bunch of really good information for us. We can come over to policy, and you can see I created one called vSphere MFA, and it's real basic. The default is authenticate, but you can have it do things like IP or geo or what is it, the impossible time, right? Where you're logging in in you know, China and then an hour later you're logging in in Brazil. Like that doesn't happen, right? So there's a lot of different policies that you can do here. Um, obviously get it set up for you know, your specific environment. Anyway, so if we go back, um, you know, we have this file downloaded, we have you know, users uploaded, all of these things. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Um, so we have the ping ID ADFS adapter here. I'm gonna go ahead and run that. All right, so it wants that properties file that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Um, and that properties file is gonna answer a lot of the questions for us. Right, should just be about there. Okay, if you really wanna see what happened, go read the log. Okay, so now we're back here. Um, the integration has been completed. I'm gonna go ahead and go to authentication methods, go edit, and you can see that ping shows up now. So I'm gonna go ahead and select ping and leave duo unchecked now, apply and okay. And let's test this one out. So same thing, we're gonna go ahead and log in with my domain account, hit next. Then we see authentication is happening from ADFS itself. Now at this time it's redirecting. So it's taking me to a whole new page, not that little iframe. And on my phone, I have a little like, hey, go ahead and slide this little bubble up to authenticate and there we go. And that's it, right? So now I'm in, I've authenticated ADFS and ADFS said, hey, let's go ahead and use another factor. Let's use ping. Um, and at that point I went ahead. And so we're good to go there. 